Good day, I'm Tamara McHale and this is your GIS News for Thursday, September 24. Government is focused on sticking to the goals of the Economic Reform Program and delivering growth from the stabilization of the economy. Justice Minister Senator Mark Golding said his ministry through reforms and legislative amendments has been assisting with that objective. The minister said Jamaica was able to jump 36 places on the International Ease of Doing Business survey with amendments to several acts including the Companies Office Act, Insolvency Act, the Banking Services Act and the Securities Act. An overhaul of the tax system, introduction of the FlexiWork and Disabilities legislation, as well as the implementation of the ASICUDA system at Jamaica Customs are also being praised for the improving economic climate. I think there is indeed hope for Jamaica. Uh, we must continue the work that has commenced. We've achieved stabilization of the society and the economy and the public finances in particular. The reforms that have been implemented are enabling us to shift focus from stabilization to growth, employment, wealth creation and sustainable development. The state minister responsible for energy is commending the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Program REAP for its role in lowering the island's energy bills. The latest initiative under the project is a $23 million 25 kilowatt solar and 1.2 kilowatt wind system installed at the UWI Marine Lab at Port Royal. It's expected to reduce the lab's electricity cost by 95%. The UWI's Marine Lab at Discovery Bay and the Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park have also benefited from the reprogram, which is a joint venture between government and the U.S. Department of Interior. Speaking at the commissioning ceremony Monday, Minister Julian Robinson applauded the program. It also supports the strategy of the government of Jamaica to diversify our energy portfolio and reduce electricity prices. And by doing so, we intend to achieve greater economic growth through investments and increased business competitiveness. Government intends to use activities for Senior Citizens Week 2015 to improve healthy living in the nation's aging population. The government is of the view that by showcasing practical examples of health promotion interventions, identifying initiatives in the society and making available key resources about healthy aging, we can successfully build solid awareness of the steps required to make healthy aging a reality. Portfolio Minister Derek Kelly was speaking at Tuesday's media launch. With seniors making up 11.3% of the population and statistics showing that this figure will rise to 25% in 2050, Minister Kelly said it was important to invest in healthy lifestyle practices among senior citizens. This year's observance from September 27 to October 3 is being held under the theme, Healthy Aging is the Desirable Goal. Activate your action plan now. And speaking as Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Minister Kelly called on senior citizens to plant more trees. He encouraged seniors to revive the practice of planting trees with the neighbor string of newborn family members. This practice, he says, will go a far way in relieving the pressures brought about by drought related to climate change. And you understand the reason why it is necessary for us to play our part as seniors, to plant a tree wherever possible and whenever possible because the best time to have planted a tree was yesterday so that it would be already in the soil and growing so that we can help to combat the vagaries of climate change that is upon us and finally two jamaicans have been awarded the prestigious spanish order of civil merit officer class by the government of spain this is in recognition of their outstanding contribution to the development of the spanish language and culture in jamaica Education Officer for Foreign Languages Martha Corbett Baugh and Education Specialist at UNICEF Dr. Rebecca Tortello are the recipients. They were lauded recently at a ceremony held at the Spanish Ambassador's residence in St. Andrew. But these ladies are not decorated tonight only for uh, their merits. They are decorated because they uh, have been uh, at, the, at the, they are the cornerstone, as I said, they are the, uh, the, 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 the symbols, the representatives, they epitomize the cooperation between Spain and the Ministry uh, of Education in Jamaica. It is an honor for me as representing the Ministry of Education to use this occasion to both thank 
the Spanish government through their representative in Jamaica for considering us so much, so well, that you would honor two of our citizens. That's it for GIS News today. I'm Tamar McHale. Thank you for watching.